Hey everybody, welcome back to another Deck Profile Friday. I'm going to show off uh, one of Ash's favorite Pokemon in a deck, you know, that I've been working on for you know, probably about six months or so. Um, you know, just buying a little bit here and there. Um, as, you know, they, I only had one deck for this format, which was... Uh, Evital EX Garboder, right? And, you know, I like to have at least, you know, three for every format, right? So, um, that way I can actually, you know, play, play something, right? That's, um, you know, for, obviously for that format, but just have a little bit of variety, right? So I don't have to play the same thing over and over, so... And this one here was actually one of the cheaper ones uh, to build for this format. Um, as, you know, it didn't really require like a ton of EX cards. It didn't require, um, you know, like a, lo a lot of, I don't know, like, like mostly just ex cards because they were pretty expensive at the time they're pretty cheap now so i'm sure i could probably pick them up depending on you know which deck it is but um yeah i'm excited to show this off so without further ado let's get into it and the deck that i'm talking about is greninja all right so this deck is a lot of fun um I probably would have played this back in the day. Like, I absolutely, just going through this thing, I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, let's get into the card by card. So, to start, we have the main Pokemon of the deck. We got three Greninja Break there. With three of the Breakpoint Greninja. We got one of the, pardon me, the X and Y uh, Greninja, X and Y base, it's a really good, with four frog a deer, just to move these up here, that way they're in the picture, four frog a deer, three froki, and because pretty much all the Pokemon are on the screen right now, four Talon Flame from uh i believe this is steam siege i believe this is steam siege so this is all the pokemon in the deck They're really simple um there are two starters in the deck are talon flame and froki talon flame there has got an amazing ability called gale wings um just like it is in the game uh if this pokemon is in your hands when you are setting up to play you may put it face down as your active pokemon so right now there's a luxury which i think is from crown zenith right that does the same thing it's such a good card uh shame it doesn't see play and then it's attack there for a colorless arrow blitz for 40 Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. So another really good attack. The one thing that you got to be careful of with that is N. As N was a very, very popular supporter at this time. Um, and I think most decks ran like four of it, right? Some played three, some played two, depending on the list. But a lot of decks played four. So it wasn't uncommon to lose those two cards um, on your next turn. And then everything else is pretty cool. Um, you know, free retreat, right? So nice having a free retreater in the deck, right? Not that you don't have that, but um, resistance to fighting and weakness to lightning. Okay. Froki there. Uh, Froki has 60 HP. Uh, it's got bubble there, right, for its attack, for a colorless, I mean, for a water, flip coin of heads, they're, they're paralyzed, weak to grass, no resistance, and one retreat, all right, and then we got four frog of deer, so you're probably wondering why we only, we play, pardon me, why we only play three froki and four frog of deer, right, 
Well, here's the thing, okay? We want to start off with Talonflame a lot more than Froakie, so that's why we have it down to three. But as well as, when you evolve to Frogadier, when you evolve Froakie to Frogadier, Frogadier's attack, their water duplicates for a water. Search your deck for up to three Frogadier and put them onto your bench. So you don't even need to evolve Froakie, right? You just put the Frogadier right on your bench, right? And then with that, that's when you can just constantly cycle your Greninjas, right? And that, that's pretty much what you want to do with this deck, right? Is when they get knocked out, you bring up another one, right? And then you evolve... You know, the Froakie to Frogadier, evolve the Frogadier to Greninja, and you just keep doing that. Pretty cool. Um, and then 70 HP, weakness to grass, no resistance, and uh, colorless retreat cost, just for one. Greninja. So the one on the right there, that's the X and Y base one. It's a really good one, right? Not the main attacker, but it's still really good nonetheless. 130 HP, 1 Retreat, no Resistance, Weakness to Grass. It's Ability there, Water Shirk, and it's a really good one. Uh, once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a Water Energy card from your hand. If you do, put 3 damage counters on one of your Pokemon, right? So that's great at targeting little things, right? Targeting your opponent's Frokies. You know, there's a bunch of other stuff there too, right? Two of those. And then you're able to get, uh, you know, that knockout on a 60 HP, right? Um, let's attack their mint, pardon me, mist slash, not mint, for a water does 50. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's pretty much like the G-Max pulverization on Duraludon V-Max uh, that's being played, you know, in today's game, right? Really cool, right? Not as good an attacker as the next one here, the Breakpoint uh, Greninja, but it does add a lot of value with that Water Shuriken. So the Breakpoint there, 130 HP, same HP. Uh, this time it's got Free Retreat, which is an improvement. No Resistance and Weakness to Grass. Okay. And two really awesome attacks, right? which you want to use both depending on the situation, right? Um, for Colorless, Shadow Stitching does 40. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, each Pokemon your opponent has in play in his or her hand and in his or her discard pile has no abilities. And that is absolutely crazy, right? You shut off that Shaman EX, right? That Hoopa EX, Right? And and obviously the, the, the many other Pokemon that are being played in this format. That's awesome. Right? So if you can do that turn after turn while just doing some water shuriken damage there, right? There you go. Um, and then it's second attack there for a water. Moonlight slash the 60. Uh, and then it says you may return a water energy card from this Pokemon to your hands if you do this attack does 20 more damage so you can hit for 80 there right it's very similar to the legends awakened uh king draw i believe with the dragon pump attack right except you discard a water that's attached to it right for um 80 damage as well right or yeah i think it's 80 damage i think it's like 60 and 20 so still very similar right the one thing that you want to be careful of with that is N, right? Is if you get N after returning that water energy to your hand, you may not be able to attack the next turn, right? So you've got to be very mindful of that. And then the Greninja Break. So another really good card. And when you're able to combo this with the X and Y Greninja, that's where it really adds the value. So it's got 170 HP. So it's an improved uh, HP by 40. It's got the break rule. Uh, Greninja break retains the attacks, abilities, weakness, resistance, and retreat costs of its previous evolution. So it has to evolve from Greninja, right? But 
it does gain a excellent ability here, which is called Giant Water Shuriken. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard a Water Energy card from your hand. If you do, put six damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So ideally, right, if you can get two breaks into play, right, have two uh, Water Energy in your hand, right, preferably three, you can do that. You retreat to the other one. Right? And then you can use the X and Y base's original water shuriken, right? So you're putting three. So you're putting 150 damage in play by discarding three water energy. And that is absolutely nuts. So another really good uh, Pokemon in this deck, right? And that's pretty much the Pokemon line. So pretty cool. Uh, cool thing here, too, is that um, pretty much these, this is all from Breakpoint, X and Y Breakpoint. So uh, if you get, like, you know, um, a box, right, I think you could probably get most of this, right? But um, it's probably just easier. Like a box back then. If you got a box back then, you probably got most of this. But um, you probably just want to obviously pick up the... <laughs> The singles right now just due to the pricing of a box, right? So, and then, yeah, this is from Steam Siege, and then this is from X and Y Base. So, it's like, like I think it's like a $3 card, and I think this is probably like 2 3 bucks. So, super cheap. Cool. And that is the Pokemon line, right? Just pure Greninja, right? And this actually uh, got... Uh, I believe it was second at Worlds this year in 2016, right? So that's really good. Supporters. Well, like I mentioned about N, we do play 4N, right? N and this card are the best draw cards in the format, Professor Sycamore. I really like these ones here. These ones look really good. These alt arts, right? I really like these. Pretty cool. Two best draw cards, and then we got a ace trainer, right? Uh, each player shuffles his or her hand into the deck, then draw three, and your, pardon me, your opponent draws three, you draw six. So this is probably, you know, I, I'd say... It's kind of a better Marty, but kind of isn't because it's got this clause here. You can only play this card if you have more prizes, more than left, uh, pardon me, more than your opponent. So, um, it's pretty much a Roxanne, right? But without like the, um, the restriction to three prize cards or less, right? And then we have a Fisherman. Put four basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. This is a really good card. It's seen a lot of play in the past before as well. You know, especially in like 2004 with uh, those Swampert decks. Right? Um, I have Pokemon Ranger. So I'm not really too sure on what this, um, you know, why this was being played. I'm assuming that there was, um, you know, something that stopped this deck, right? I don't know what it is, but remove all effects of attacks on each player and his or her Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. And then the stadiums to add as well. Three rough seas. Once during your turn, that player may heal 30 damage from his or her water or uh, water. Pardon me, water and lightning Pokemon. So, obviously the best stadium for the deck here. Um, I don't really can't really remember what's being played. I think Parallel City was, you know, pretty popular one. Um, yeah, definitely can't remember. So. But that's the stadiums and the supporters. 
Then on to the trainer cards, right? So the trainer cards are very similar. Um, you know, you're going to see a lot of the same ones uh, for the deck. You're not going to see this, however. This is only played in this one. Bursting Balloon. If this card is attached to one of your Pokemon, discard at the end of the turn. Uh, if the Pokemon this card is attached to uh, is, you know, is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if it's knocked out, put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon, right? So you hurt me, you get hurt back, right? And then when you combo this with all the abilities, you're putting a lot of damage in play. For Dive Ball, uh, search your deck for a water Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So any water Pokemon, this is really good, right? Um, I don't think it... I think it'd be a little bit too crazy in today's format, you know, with all the, the, the Palkia running around, all the Gen Pal, the Backscalibur, right? But... I could say, see this card maybe being uh, printed in a archetype that's uh, like a, like a type that's not really being played right now. Maybe like grass, right? Grass or maybe even uh, like metal, right? Probably those would be a good two good types to to you know have a card like this for. Four VS Seekers. So these are, are actually probably one of the most expensive cards in the deck. I think these are about three, four, five bucks Canadian. Uh, yeah, I'm from Canada, by the way, just so you know. Put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. So really good at using those single ones, right? Or having that fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth Professor Sycamore or N. Two level ball. Search on a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, so Froki or Frogadier. Two Super Rod. Shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy from your discard pile into your deck. You know, just got reprinted in uh, Paldea Evolved there, so really good card. One Battle Compressor. Search your deck for up to three cards and uh, discard them. So that's a really good card to combo with, you know, something like, um, you know, VS Seeker there or, uh, you know, even Fisherman, right? You can battle compressor three water energy and then Fisherman into your hand and then do those abilities like I say. So it's pretty cool. And then lastly, one startling megaphone. Discard all Pokemon tools attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon, right? So let them load up all their tools and play. Oh, hey, this guy doesn't play any tool removal, right? Or, or or she doesn't play any tool removal. Well, I got startling megaphone. So there you go. You just lost all your tools. And that is the trainer cards. So really simple, right? Really simple deck to play. So I really like this. I probably, had I played in this format, I probably would have played this deck or at least had it in my, uh, in my bag for pretty much any tournament. So, and then energy, we got eight water energy because it's water and then two splash energy. So this here is a incredibly good energy. If you remember rescue energy from you know back in you know 2011 there, right? 2010, 2011. This is that for water Pokemon. Uh, if the water Pokemon this card's attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put that Pokemon into your hand and discard all cards attached to it. So that which includes itself, right? So that way uh, you can't just reuse splash energy. Um, yeah, this here is awesome. So, and that makes total of 10 energy in the deck. So, yeah, there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, this here is, yeah, like I said, probably one of the decks I would have played uh, back in the day in this format, right? Um, 2016.
So pretty cool. Uh, yeah, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Uh, and then also, yeah, we got that uh, that big giveaway happening when we hit 250 subscribers. So um, you know, the faster that we get, the faster that we get there, the faster it can happen. Um, yeah, don't forget to like. Uh, you know, and obviously subscribe. Leave a comment too. Is I'm always wanting to hear, um, you know, what you want to see, right? And, um, you know, if you guys, you know, have any thoughts on how I can, you know, obviously improve, uh, improve the videos. So that'd be, uh, you know, really nice to hear as well, right? Um, yeah, don't forget to check me out on Instagram too, right? You can, uh, send me a message there too if you want. Uh, I always try and get back and respond. And, yeah, that is Deck Profile Friday, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and see you in the next video.